Last year, when I evaluated the DJI Action 2, I praised its unique appearance for setting it apart from all the other action cameras on the market, with a more conventional form and the revival of the Osmo moniker, the DJI Osmo Action 3 makes a 180-degree flip back to the fundamentals, after testing the Action 3, I can now understand why DJI made the modification, even though at first it baffled me. Does this robust new camera stand out sufficiently from the competitors while being built to withstand whatever you can throw at it? The DJI action camera from the beginning, which was fantastic but might have been a touch too similar to GoPro, is very identical to the Action 3. The Action 3 may still look like an ordinary action camera, but it differs from other models in some significant ways. The magnetic quick-release system, which it inherits from the Action 2 and has significantly upgraded to be more solid and reliable, is foremost among them. With this magnetic clip system, you can stick the camera to a metal surface or attach and detach it from a variety of mounts. Although such a system might appear unstable, I can attest to the magnetic clip's dependability, because it remained locked and secure on an extension rod out of a car window, while traveling at 40 miles per hour and I've flown the Action 2 on top of a drone at even faster speeds. The magnetic clip sometimes doesn't snap together perfectly the first time, so it's a good idea to double-check that connection, that is the only thing to keep in mind. The Action 3 is distinctive in that you can now change settings while the camera is facing you, such as when shooting vlog-style videos. This is made possible by the front screen's new touch sensitivity. Since I routinely record my own vlog-style YouTube videos, I really value this option. The Action 2's battery door is another feature I like because it's simple to use while still being safe and waterproof. You'll enjoy the Osmo Action 3 if you enjoy the appearance of footage shot with the Action 2. I can hardly tell the difference, in my opinion. That's okay, though, because Action 2 takes gorgeous videos. Both horizontally and rocksteady image stabilization are very effective, and the details are sharp and clear. The design like color profile is available if you wish to have more post-processing freedom and create your own style. The regular color mode is possibly a little oversaturated, but I personally like the way it looks. The Action 3 can shoot up to 240 frames per second in 1080p and up to 120 frames per second in 4K shooting in 4K, at 120 frames per second, looks far better than 1080p 240 frames per second. It only supports 4K resolution, which is acceptable if all you want to broadcast is camera footage that hasn't been edited at all. However, it falls short of the GoPro Hero 11, Black's 5.3K highest resolution and bigger sensor, which provide more post-processing flexibility. I discovered that while the Hero 11 is significantly sharper, the Action 3 works slightly better in terms of video stabilization. The ultimate effect is that the two cameras are extremely evenly matched in terms of pure video quality. One aspect of the Action 3 video that I really like is how well it blends in with other DJI products. This implies that if you, for instance, fly a Mini 3 Pro to capture aerial footage, it will blend well with the appearance of film shot with the Action 3. The Action 3 emphasizes color accuracy even more by including a sizable, dedicated sensor for determining the ideal white balance in any given scene. Although it didn't seem to make much of a difference in the relatively calm conditions I used to film with the camera, deep sea diving is probably where it would be most helpful. The Action 3's front and rear displays are very bright and have nice color. You don't need to purchase a separate module in order to have a front-facing display, thanks to the larger back touchscreen which is undoubtedly more easier to use than the Action 2's tiny screen, and how far it can be dropped and submerged. The Osmo Action 3 is astounding. It can withstand drops of up to 5 feet, and is waterproof to a depth of 52 feet. Additionally, it is certified for use between minus 4 and 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Those are some seriously impressive numbers, and the camera feels especially tough as a result. The rubber ring that surrounds the lens gives protection to the Action 3's most susceptible area, which I really enjoy. However, I would prefer it to lock firmly into place because it can accidentally be pushed off the rim of the lens. I did take the Action 3 on a hike and submerge it in a lake, despite the fact that I didn't throw the camera around like a hacky sack, and regrettably didn't have time for deep sea diving courses. Even after receiving such a tiny penalty, the Action 3 was unfazed. DJI does sell a housing, which is included with the Adventure Combo, 
if you want additional drop protection, however, there is one significant drawback to employing the camera in the real world, the magnetic plates of its special mounting mechanism have the unfortunate propensity to seize magnetic sand particles, although it doesn't harm the camera, taking it to the beach may cause problems with the locking mechanism and necessitate periodic cleaning, although it can function in more harsh conditions, the Action 3 has a similar battery life as competing action cameras, without changing the battery, I was able to complete an usual day of trekking and recording, yet you will undoubtedly need spares if you intend to shoot longer sessions as opposed to quick highlights, which is what I like, the camera also charges very quickly, it takes just 18 minutes to fill the battery up to 80%, I put the Action 3 through its paces with the optional multifunctional battery case, which can charge and carry up to 3 batteries simultaneously, and can use the Action 3 batteries to power other USB-C devices like smartphones, Additionally, it includes additional room for two additional micro SD cards. While shooting with the Action 3, I had no concerns with overheating or other performance related issues. Additionally, useful for managing the camera, downloading, and editing video is the DJI Mimo Companion app. I'd feel safe using the Action 3 alone to record blog style videos because the audio recording is so outstanding. You may connect the DJI microphone to the Action 3 and record using that superb wireless microphone if you want even better audio. The only setup problem I had when using this was having to unclip the Action 3's USB-C port door. In order to create room for the DJI microphone, I'd feel safe using the Action 3 alone to record blog style videos because the audio recording is so outstanding. You may connect the DJI microphone to the Action 3 and record using that superb wireless microphone if you want even better audio. The only setup problem I had when using this was having to unclip the Action 3's USB-C port door in order to create room for the DJI microphone. The Action 3 is currently on sale, with prices starting at $330, a $440 adventure combo that contains three batteries, the superb multifunctional battery case, two additional lens covers for the Action 3, two adhesive base kits, a protective frame, and an extension rod kit, would be something else to think about. The Adventure package boosts the base price by $110, but it provides a lot of value by including incredibly helpful accessories at a reduced price, compared to their respective MSRPs. The DJI Osmo Action 3 is a fantastic action camera that stands up well to stiff competition from the likes of GoPro and Insta360, even though I still miss the creative appearance of the Action 2. Overall, I don't think it distinguishes itself from other cameras in this category, but it does have a few key advantages. This is the model to select if you require a camera that is very durable, especially when the optional protective frame is attached. Additionally, the Action 3 can dive to a depth of 52 feet without the need for an additional diving case. The magnetic quick-release system is the second major selling feature, and it is unquestionably helpful if you need to quickly switch mounts. Sand beaches, however, are this mechanism's weak point. As I discovered, pilots of DJI drones will also find the Action 3 appealing if they're looking for a tough camera that will easily match the aesthetic of footage shot with well-known drones, like the DJI Mini 3 Pro, Mavic 3, or Avocado. Thank you for watching, don't forget to hit the like button under this video, it's very important for us, have a nice day and see you soon.